Hey guys, welcome to the 15th C Sharp tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be making a simple text editor. So the first thing that you're going to need is a text box. You're just going to want to click this little arrow right here and check the multi-line checkbox. And then you can put it wherever you want on the form because we're going to dock it. And to dock it, you're going to want to go over to the properties panel and click this little combo box right here next to dock and select this bottom one above none and there it docked it right on the bottom so now we can just bring that right up here All right. and then we're going to want to get a tool strip and drag that right above our text box and we're going to want to select this little drop down button right here and select drop down button and under this drop down button we're going to want to have two options open and save alright and then select your drop down button once more and change the display style to text and now change the text on this drop down button to file and then here you can just move up your text box and if you hold alt you can move your text boxes or items or whatever um, a lot um, more precisely than you would just moving, your, moving with your mouse so alright I think that looks pretty good and now let's change the name of our form to text editor by and then whatever your name is my name is Adam so by Adam. So there. Now we're going to want to click on our drop down button and double click on the open option. Okay, so here we are with our code. And now for um, most things dealing with readers and writers, actually I think all things, you're going to need to be using system.io. Alright, and now let's create an open file dialog. Alright, and now for um, a text editor, we're going to have a filter for our open file dialog so that the user can only open text files. So we're going to have a filter, set that equal to the filter, it's going to just be only text files, and that is files with the extension .txt. Alright. Now we're going to want to have our open file dialog appear, but we are only going to want it to execute the code, um, aka the reader, um, only if the user selects a file and clicks OK. Otherwise, we just want it to do nothing. So in order to do that, we're going to do if um, OFD dot show dialog. Oops. Equals dialog result dot ok well actually for if statements you need two equal signs alright and then um, for this one we're only going to need one line of code so we do not need the brackets as we would normally have we can simply do or er, textbox one dot text equals um, file dot read all text and then, if you put a parenthesis here, you're going to see what you need in the parentheses. It says string path. So the path to the file that you will wish to have it read. So you would just do OFD dot file name. Alright. So now, let's test this and make sure it works. Go to file, open can only open text files txt and do example text so open this up and there bunch of example text and it reads it so there we go now we're going to have it handle the saving option and in order to do that to do that we're just going to double click on the save option from the drop down menu 
and we're just going to do file dot write all text the string path so ofd dot file name and then the text we want it to write or the string contents as it says right there which is going to be textbox one dot text okay now let's test this and make sure it successfully reads and writes the text we want it to write oh actually let's have it have a message box show to tell the user that um they have their file has been successfully saved so let's just put your file has been successfully saved pretty sure that's how you spell successfully all right and something else you can do is you can just edit the top of the message box you can also edit the buttons on your text box or your message box so you just do message box buttons dot okay or whatever you want like yes no or cancel but only use those if you're actually going to have them do something and then another comma and message box icon and I'm just going to have it be information since the other ones really don't make sense for it being a successful operation okay so now let's debug and test it I'll open open our example text right there now let's change it to say something like hey YouTube let's save it your file has been successfully saved and there's the little information icon right there click OK now let's open it back up and the text file should read hello YouTube or hey YouTube, whatever. And if you see on my desktop right there, there's example text. You open it up. Hey YouTube. So yeah. And that is it for the 15th C sharp tutorial. And you can obviously do a lot more of this text editor. Like change the font or make it so this text box is only enabled when you like open a file or something so experiment do things on your own um uh yeah so if you have any questions um just leave them in the comment section and i'll do my best to answer them so see you guys